Hi, good morning. It's day, um, hold on. <laughs> Today is day 28. Um, you know, every time I think like, you know, I got this, this whole, you know, bone and body clinic thing, it's, it's all, you know, the hard part is over. I'm like, fuck, it's never, the hard part's never over. So, today, I don't know why, they said, you know, the body just goes in ebbs and flows and whatever, but today was the hardest exercise class I've ever had. Every, every exercise for the last hour hurt so much. When I went into the pit and did the work, I just, I just started crying. It just hurt so much and he was being so, so gentle with me. And like everything hurt. And Miranda said, that's great. That means things are moving. Things are releasing. You know, I am bending further. I am moving more than I did, you know, two weeks ago. The amount of pain was intense, like, like I'm fatigued, fatigued, fatigued. And Miranda says, that's great. She said, what did she say? Delight in the pain. Was it delight? Okay, the mosque is doing that yelling thing again. Um, it wasn't the word delight, there was another word, but it was like basically delight in the pain. Like that's where we're breaking things down. That's where we're making movement. That's where we're changing. And that's something that Adil taught me. Like when you break muscle, then it rebuilds itself. So this whole process is breaking down things that you know I've avoided because they hurt, things I've avoided for years. It's like now going into it and breaking it. And, it was so painful today, and I think Lou was reflecting the same thing I was, because the entire time she's moaning, I'm groaning, I'm moaning, she's groaning, and we were both like giving birth to babies the whole time. Um, and then there's this Greek god. There's this guy in there that just joined. <sighs> he was gorgeous, you know, he's my Latino lover. He doesn't even know my name, but he's just like... <sighs> and every time I look at him, I'm like, you can't be that gorgeous. It's just not possible. And then he smiled. like it just blew it out beyond you know beyond Greek God I mean it was just like whatever it's just illegal anyway I bought today two scarves they were in one of those bins outside for super cheap this one was 50 rupees look how gorgeous 50 rupees I'm thrilled I love it it's like a cream color adorable 50 rupees is less than about a dollar it's like 85 cents 90 cents and then I got this too I love it. I love getting cloth in India. It's just so fun. It's just, you know, it could be a scarf, it could be a wrap, it could be a tablecloth, it could just, you know, be on a bed or on a wall. I just, I love cloth. I'm going to start buying more cloth. And I had this thought that I want to buy um, cheap art stuff, uh, cheap stuff, and then sell it. Maybe when Kobe and I do our lectures the coming year, have them for sale. And then see how they go, and if they don't go, we'll give them away as presents. And if they do go, then when I come next year, I can buy more. Anyway, I am going to eat. I already had my milk bikis of the day. I had to grab some in town today while I was getting money. Um, I'm going to eat something. I think I'm going to make some pesto real quick with my new mozzarella cheese and my soaked cashews. So eat something, and then shower, and then take a very long nap. Like... I'm all fatigued. I'm so happy. And then Asaf told me today, and a few other people told me that there's this hot treatment that they do to you, that they go to the place where it hurts, and they put all these herbs and this um, th this rag that's boiling hot, and, it, and, and everyone's told me it's the worst so far. And I'm like, yeah, something else to look forward to. Even though I also heard that the, the jaw thing is painful. Um, so the, Asaf said that it was really incredible. He said that it would hurt, and then she put it in here and it hurt, she put it here and it hurt, then she put it in like the place, the place, and he said it was like knives and daggers being twisted and, and burning into his skin and it was like the most intense pain. And he said it got so bad, so intense, that it became like a, what is it called, psychotic drug? Like he, he left, he said he, for like an hour he couldn't move, he said he had this like truly amazing trip like this really powerful experience after. So it was like, went in there and released and let out, you know, energetically and otherwise, all sorts of toxins. And then he said he was like floating for an hour. So, yay, more to look forward to. <laughs> Bone and Body Clinic are beyond words amazing. I am begging Kobe to come. I've written to him about it like five or six times and he's yet to even respond. Um, this is amazing. 
And I thought of my brother, you know, and I thought, oh God, he would love to be. It's just unbelievable what they do. It's unbelievable. I, I, I hope I'm lucky enough to come every year, even for a month, every year, and just get into the exercises again, check up again, get, get myself realigned again so that the rest of the year I can function in my fullest health. These people are amazing. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Bye.